welcome home welcome back to my channel thank you so much for joining me today i'm really excited to be filming because this is the first vlog that i am making in so long and i just have so many exciting things to share with you guys i guess i know that i haven't been as active on youtube but that is all gonna change this month i have so many videos planned i think i only uploaded one video last month so this week i have a lot of things like adult things that i have to take care of i have to do my tax things because tax season is upon us so exciting it's like the highlight of adulthood i also want to switch up my diet a bit i have to go grocery shopping today gonna take you guys with me because I want to try to go gluten-free for just a week see how I feel I haven't been eating very well have not had a workout routine in like two months also another thing I've never talked about because I never really gave it much concern or thought is I have really brittle nails and I guess I've always just thought that I've had brittle nails because I have a really bad like biting my nail problem um, I actually don't really do it anymore but I used to and so I just kind of figured that was why yeah so I have like very brittle nails never really gave it much thought but recently I was just like hmm that's probably not what normal nails are supposed to look like they're, sp they're supposed to be like healthy and strong and not like break off and whenever I shower I have so much hair that comes out of my head I still like it's not like I have like I'm losing hair that's like noticeable but I just feel like I shed more than the average person and I know that like your hair and skin and nails are all sort of connected so I want to pick up some supplements and vitamins and see if that helps with that so I think I'm gonna do like magnesium biotin um, and then just start eating a lot more healthy things I also really want to try out sea moss so I'm just gonna go grocery shopping gonna go gluten-free for a week see what happens give you guys an update and i also want to eat like a higher protein diet so i'm gonna get a lot of like beans tofu that kind of stuff first shop was successful i got most of my like produce um all the like vitamins i needed to get protein powder lots of veggies um that kind of stuff now i'm gonna go to trader joe's because you know i can't stay away i'm gonna get some salad mix some salad dressing some like nuts seeds and a lot of beans and i think that's pretty much it oh i need to get like peanut butter and maybe like some condiments i don't really have any of that kind of stuff and some seasonings so that's what we're getting and then should be good i tried to get sea moss gel from this place but they only had it in powder form um so i don't really know i'll probably have to go to like a more specialty like whole foods kind of store to find that but other than that pretty much got everything that i needed to get trader joe's was insanely busy i don't know why it's so crazy um but yeah i got like a bunch of frozen fruit um what else like some sauces some salad things i got the vegan caesar dressing some seasoning that kind of stuff um and i also bought myself the green juice because it's so good and i haven't eaten anything today so i'm gonna have this and then i'm gonna go home i'm gonna show you guys what i got do a big grocery haul i have like five bags of food and i'm gonna make myself some lunch too because i'm pretty pretty dang hungry okay i spent like 150 dollars um which I actually feel like isn't that bad because I got so much stuff. Also, I'm really hot. Okay, I'm just gonna start with each bag. This might take a while. So if you hate grocery hauls, skip forward. I got two right rices. It's like a rice alternative. They're super good. Two things of cherry tomatoes. I got biotin. So this is kind of for like my skin, nails, hair. And I got magnesium. These are all vegan supplements. Corn tortillas, gluten-free, garlic, cucumber, some chipotle sauerkraut, and I got two blocks of firm tofu. I got Vega protein powder. It's the vanilla flavor. I got one gigantic sweet potato, some lemons, and I got three of these Better Booch Kombuchas. They're all different flavors. I got yellow squash, mushrooms, a ton of mushrooms. <laughs> um, Two broccoli heads, this is basil and mint, some alfalfa sprouts, onion, bell pepper, and 
a spaghetti squash. I got three different lettuce bags. So I got the herb, herb salad mix, power greens, and butter lettuce. And I got these steamed lentils, which I feel like would be really good for salads, and the vegan Caesar dressing. They also have these new crispy mushrooms that sound really good, so I wanna try these. I got frozen mixed fruit and frozen berries for smoothies. Um, I also got this like, it's like corn edamame mixture. Two of the taco seasonings, olive oil. Oh, these hot and sweet jalapenos to put on salads and in tacos and stuff. I got a pasta sauce for the spaghetti squash because I'm just gonna eat it like normal spaghetti. Smooth and salty peanut butter, garbanzo beans, black beans, and island soyaki sauce. Oh, and I'm so excited for this. They have a Zatara seasoning at Trader Joe's now. This is like my favorite spice seasoning ever. So I will definitely be putting this on literally everything I eat. I just made the most delicious salad ever for lunch. So you guys already saw like all the things that I got at the store, but I just made a salad with all the greens, lentils, sauerkraut, jalapenos, those little crispy mushrooms, tomato, and the Caesar dressing. And I am so excited for this. <laughs> I got sea moss, but I just got the capsules. So I think I'm going to make like a smoothie right now and just open up one of the capsules and dump the powder in. Still couldn't find gel. I know there's a way you can make it and I can buy it online, but for now I'm just going to try it out in the powder form um, and see how that goes. <laughs> Okay, we got the smoothie bowl. Look how pink it is. And I got, I put some peanut butter on top and some of Trader Joe's gluten-free granola. So, so good. I haven't had a smoothie bowl in a while, so I'm really excited. Yay, my new Brooklyn and Hardcore bundle got delivered today. So, of course, I had to do an unboxing. I'm so excited. I don't know about you, but I get really excited about bedding, like sheets, duvet covers, pillowcases, pillows, blankets, all of that kind of stuff really excites me. So it felt like Christmas morning when my Brooklyn and got delivered. So the Hardcore bundle set came with four pillowcases, one fitted sheet, one sheet, and a duvet cover, so it literally has like everything that you need to create the perfect sleeping sanctuary. With the hardcore bundle set you can also mix and match the colors from the pillowcases to the sheets to the duvet cover. For me I just decided to keep it really simple and go with everything in the color cream. I really love the kind of like off-white color. It honestly gives like a very luxurious hotel feeling. So I opted for the luxe bundle because I am a really really hot sleeper and the luxe sheets are really cool and really crisp that like first night in the hotel room and like a five-star hotel feel every single night it is actually so nice and really helps me stay cool at night which I love like I said Brooklyn Inn has the feel of a luxurious hotel bedding super high quality sheets and fabric but they offer this luxury at, at an affordable price and when you purchase the hardcore bundle you are actually saving 25 percent i love how easy they make it to mix and match to customize how you can get everything you need in one set delivered straight to your door the sheets and pillowcases stay cool and everything is just so so soft to the touch and you can really feel the quality i also have a discount for you guys so if you want to try out brooklyn in click the link in the description and use my promo code angelina to save 20 dollars on any purchase a hundred dollars or more okay so for lunch i wanted to have another like a really high protein meal i made this sort of like salad <laughs> doesn't have any greens in it but it's lentils right rice which is like a rice alternative made out of uh like legumes and then this like frozen stuff that was a mixture of bell pepper edamame and corn from trader joe's and I think that's it. And then I added in some seasoning, some vegan Caesar dressing. So it's basically just a whole bowl of like legumes and um, like high protein, yeah, like beans and stuff. First night in my Brooklyn and sheets and I slept like a baby 
The sheets kept me so cool and they're just so soft. So 10 out of 10. Okay, so I'm just doing my journaling for April because it is the last day of March. So I like to kind of get things started for the new month. Um, write down like my goals and journal about what I want to achieve in the next month and stuff. So I just kind of made up these little journal prompts like what is something from last month that you want to improve on this month? How do you want to feel this month? Think about who you want to be on April 30th. What have you accomplished? and new interests, hobbies, things you want to learn this month. So like, what are some new things that I want to pick up? Some new habits, some new interests, things like that. Because I always want to make sure that I'm like, you know, not staying stagnant, like learning new things, um, that kind of stuff. And then this page, I'm just going to write down all my goals. So I'm just going to do a little bit of journaling right now. I already drank like most of my coffee and yeah. Tu m'as fait trop de peine quand tout au long des jours J'attendais que revienne les coups d'un plus beau jour Je ne crois plus en tes promesses, tu m'as trop menti D'autres filles à ces promesses I am going to the beach with my friend today because it's actually supposed to be like a really hot day so I'm super excited and I got some gluten-free snacks to take with me. So I got these gluten-free tortilla chips that are also dairy-free, like nacho flavored. I also found these like avocado crisps that are guacamole flavored that look so good that I really want to try. And then these like bean snacks that this is like the barbecue flavor and never tried these before they seem really interesting so i'm gonna take those with me i'm also gonna bring a kombucha with me for a little drink and then i have a salad in here that's like lentils a bunch of greens sprouts tomatoes sauerkraut i'll show that to you guys when i get to the beach and i also heated up some tofu with some seasoning and i have some vegan caesar dressing in here so i'm gonna like assemble the salad when i get to the beach but I will show you guys that once I actually do it. I'm just keeping it in the fridge for now until I leave. Okay, my face is super red because I just went for a run. That was like the first run I've been on in like months, like so long. Um, the goal this year is to run a half marathon. That was the goal last year. And James and I signed up for a half marathon, but it got canceled because of COVID. And this year we're just like, screw it. We're just gonna run a half marathon on our own. So we don't really have like a date yet. We're both just getting back into running. So I ran like th almost three and a half miles, um, which I feel like was pretty good for not having ran in a while. But I just got new running shoes I want to show you because they're amazing like they're beautiful and my feet feel like they're running on clouds they are the Hoka ones they're the Clifton's um, with outdoor voices I'll link them down below for you guys if you are like I don't know if you care but they're amazing I have an old pair of these because I bought a pair last year for the half marathon but I just ended up using them as like hiking shoes, walking shoes, like for everything. And so they got really worn down. So I wanted to get a pair that are like just for running. I normally don't lay in my bed at all during the day. Also tip to not go back in your bed um, after you wake up is make your bed right away because once my bed's made, I don't want to like mess it up. But around this time of day, the sun shines like directly into my room. And it's so nice because it just like hits my bed and it's so warm and cozy. Um, I've also had quite a busy day today. I told you guys I went for a run. Um, and then I had to go take care of my tax stuff 
fun adult things, but you know, we're trying not to procrastinate these sort of things anymore. And I'm, I feel like I'm finally like kind of getting on top of all my stuff. Um, so I did that and I just ate some leftover pad thai because I had pad thai last night for dinner with my friend. Yeah, I've just been like answering emails and like, you know, the whole working from home life thing, planning out videos for this month and next. Um, there's some fun ones. I'm really excited. I haven't filmed in so long, so it's exciting to like get back into it. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna lay on my bed for like half an hour and read. I guess that's it. If you guys want to follow me on Goodreads, you can do so. Um, I'll link that down below. I'll have like all the things in this video and stuff down below. Also, remember to check out the Brook Linen link down below. So I think I'm just gonna end the vlog here. Uh, because there's not very much going on the rest of the week for me, I guess. I- I don't know. Um, I'll definitely be doing like some more vlogs and like life update kind of things. So, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye!